Hi and welcome back to PG Maybe's YouTube channel. We're going to do a DVD box set and it is The Adventures of Briscoe County Junior. Bruce Campbell at his finest. It's a western, it's a comedy, it's a sci-fi and it's action. Just plain pure Bruce Campbell fun. If you like Bruce Campbell you'll definitely love this one. It stars Bruce Ca Campbell as Briscoe County Junior and his sidekick or rival, depends on how you look at it, is Julius Carey, uh, plays Lord Boa, the late Julius K Carey, who was absolutely fantastic in it. You also had Christensen Clemenson, who played Socrates Poole, a sort of weedy lawyer who, throughout the episodes, gets a wee bit braver and goes out. You've got the other mainstay of it is the horse comet. One of the best animal parts in a lot of TV shows I've seen. It's just pure entertainment. You have intermittent people throughout the whole thing like for instance you have Professor Albert uh, Whitquire who's played by the great John Ashton Gomez Adams from the original Adams family. You've got Kelly Rutherford who plays Dixie Cousin who's a love interest throughout it and the chemistry between Bruce and uh, Kelly is quite good and I think that's why they spread it out. I, th I think it was meant to be formulaic as in a different love interest every week but the chemistry between the two, the, she was a more mainstay and then you had one of the funniest criminal masterminds was John Piper Ferguson who played Pete Hutter. Every time he is on the screen he is brilliant. He's one of the funniest ones on it. Then you had John Bly played by Billy Draco. He's in it throughout. He's the main bad character throughout and it's played so well. Then you have a couple of other ones that uh, you need to look out for, like for instance Arlie Emery who played Briscoe County Senior, uh, a mainstay in a lot of early stuff and he's just such a great actor, even the two episodes he was in he stands out on. And one of the other fun ones, it definitely is a mention, is Cat Gary Hunt who plays Sheriff Aaron Viva look out for Elvis Presley all the way. It is just fun. The the search for Briscoe just he's always looking for the next coming thing. So you've got rockets in it, you've got diving suits in it, you've got drive by or ride by windows for food there's just a lot of fun aspects on it and Briscoe's always looking for the next coming thing. It's set at a time where the cowboy life's coming to an end so you've got motorcycles popping up at the start of them, the next coming thing and that's actually stated within the actual extras this was created and produced by Jeffrey Boom and Carlton Coos and there's a commentary on the pilot episode on disc one, it's an eight disc set. So this one you've got commentary by Bruce and Carlton discussing this, the making of the programme and how it came around and such like. The commentary on that is really good. Then you've got another six bits and pieces on it. On oh, disc eight is the main extras. So you have Briscoe's book of coming things which discusses the rocket, the motorcycles, the just the everything it comes up in it. They're all described in it. It's quite humorous. Then you've got the Hisco, the history of Briscoe County Junior and it's a retrospective documentary about it and it is 
they talk about how they they learn to do the shooting, the and the horse wrangling and the riding and such like, which is also included within tools of the trade. They talk about how the tra- um, what they had to do to learn to look the part, and it's done really well. You don't think you don't see it as in someone is always it looks uncomfortable riding a horse or such like. Then you've got uh, the reading from the Bru- book, which is one of Bruce's two books, one of his chin books, and he reads, reads a paragraph which he's talking about Briscoe in it, which is quite entertaining. I've got both books and both of them are absolutely superb. Definitely recommend getting them as well. And then you've got Briscoe's right, the writer's room, and it's the writers and the, the, the producers and such like talking about how they got the ideas and how they brought it on and how what how they had what they had to do to get them filmed and the ideas they had that they had to scale down and such like. And then you also get a small booklet which is basically a breakdown on the characters and such like. All in all, the D V D box set is definitely worth it. I've I got that for my Christmas. So it's fairly new, however, I've already watched it twice. It is superb. Definitely something and a half. The relationship between um, Briscoe and Lord Bowler is humorous throughout. It is not contrived. It's the two of them are rivals. Then they become friends, and they then and I think that was to do with the fact is um, Bruce and Julius had such a good chemistry together, and you can see it just works really well silly throughout both of them it is it's difficult to describe the the fun this DVD box set gives definitely give it a go the extras in it are definitely well worth it you could watch this in YouTube or any of the streaming services it's got it I don't know how many have got it but the box set is the thing to get. Eight DVDs as I said and you would not be disappointed. I'm going to do a breakdown of my five favourite Bruce Campbell DVDs I've got and surprise surprise that's number one and my recommendations are get out and buy it if you like Bruce Campbell, you will love this. If you like a good western, come sci-fi, come comedy, come action, this is the one for you. They don't take themselves too seriously. You can see it in some of the characters they create, in some of the ridiculous situations they get themselves in. It's just fun. And by the looks of it, everyone seemed to enjoy it. They, they seem to have and they enjoyed playing it. There's interviews with uh, Julius Carey and Bruce and um, Christian, and they all talk about how much they enjoyed it and they enjoyed playing against each other and how much help they got creating the scenario and even things like the sets they were on. It was the last days of certain things within the old western cinema structure because it was coming to the end of the fascination with westerns so you had the town that was built in a back lot which is, was getting whittled down gradually because westerns are not being used and it was being used for other things and even all the, the stage coaches and such like how people used to use them and now they've been brought back for this and Bruce is actually very happy because he's doing filming on the same stages as some of the great westerns were filmed and he does enjoy that aspect of it and it comes across because it's obviously something even after Briscoe was done how much he actually remembers of it but I would definitely Get the DVD box set, watch the extras, then watch the 27 episodes. 
you will not be disappointed and keep tuned for the next Bruce Campbell one I'm going to be doing Jack of All Trades as well I'll be doing Bubba Hotep and I will do My Name is Bruce as well as maybe even do the three evil deads may do them individually or do one after the other however I digress so if you like what you see please give it a thumbs up if you would like to please subscribe and leave a comment anything Bruce Campbell related always happy to discuss it anyway remember I'm not old damn classic and me and Bruce, out. <laughs>